yeah. You know, I'm thinking about this right now. I don't think I've ever called a girl. Palomita Blanca de Piquito, you dile que la quiero, dile que la da. I don't think I've ever used that line. The only line I think I've ever used is, you want another beer and uh, you want to go across the street to the hotel. There you go, man. That's all you need. Another beer, another shot, and you want to go across the street to the motel. There you go. That, I don't need no Palomita Blanca kind of a line. No, I don't. Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio. Tuesday morning. Good morning, shout out to Cindy Martinez. Her name is De La Soya, De La Soya, De La Hallelujah. There we go. Now, um, you're probably going, Robert, quit bashing the Spurs, Robert. <laughs> You know, I'm going to say a couple, you know, a couple more things and I'm going to leave it alone. But honestly, man, it was sad. <laughs> it was so sad that when I went to go use the restroom, I couldn't use the restroom. I was sitting down. I was like, huh, here we go. A little shake and shimmy. Let's get this baby out of here. Here we go. Let's get those taquitos from this morning out of here. I, I was so sad. Man, I, I mean, I went to the urinal and I couldn't go pee-pee. I was so sad to spur. I was like, come on. Here, come on. here we go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let me turn on some water. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. It was sad, man. It was really, really sad. Good morning, shout out. Going out to my buddy, Mr. DJ Edward Castillo, and Converse Texas in the house. Anyways, <laughs> Cindy Martinez Hernandez says, you're hurting my heart by passing my foot. Cindy, Cindy, if anybody should know how much I love my Spurs is you, other than my kiddos, I love the Spurs, but in the words of my dentist, the tooth is the tooth. Really, man, they were terrible. They were just sitting now. Now, if, if if you want to play like you're part Egyptian and you're in denial, well, that that's up to you. But I'm calling them as I see them, and I saw the game last night. I was there. It was sad. It was man. It was man. I felt like crying. What man? What's wrong with my spur? Really, man. I was so pissed off that I needed to kick some ass. I wanted to throw some chingasos. But y'all know me by now. I only throw chingasos if the person's in a wheelchair. Come on, stand up. Can't stand up, huh? All right, I'll get you up. That's right. Only if he's in a wheelchair, I'll throw chingasos. Aside from that, I don't want to throw no chingasos. But really... I cannot remember the last time being at a Spurs game and hearing the Spurs being booed. And that's the truth, man. They were being booed in there. It was terrible until our center, I can't think of his name. Anyways, Demond or what's his name? Anyways, when he almost threw some chingasos, that was the only fire that happened with the Spurs when there were almost some chingasos. There you go. Anyways, okay, enough of the Spurs. I don't want to talk about the Spurs no more, man. I don't want to talk about those spurs no more. That being said, I want you to see something. Check this out. It's a pity. Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to see here. Woohoo! Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. And Stephanie Lynn, when she came by yesterday to do the interview, she gave me a couple of shirts to give away. There, there you go. So. If you're joining me right now, and if you're looking right now, it's to stay on, and um, I'm going to give y'all, uh, I'm going to figure something out where I can give away a t-shirt. Woohoo! Not only one, two t-shirts. Woohoo! Two Stephanie Lynn two, two t-shirts and one Robert Reavers radio underwear. There we go. Woohoo! That's right. Only here. Anyway, good morning, shout out, good out to everybody joining me from Floresville, Texas in the house. It's the Andy with Deadman. There we go. There we go. Sydney knows her players, right? Sydney knows her players. Deadman. That was the only guy who had fire on the Spurs last night. He's the only one that wanted to throw some chingasos. Everybody else just didn't care. My primo. All right, primo. 
Primo, be honest, Primo. Be honest, Primo. Good morning, Primo, Mr. Roger Rivas. Oye, Primo, verdad que los Spurs, Primo, anoche, anoche, Primo, hijo, Primo. I mean, I mean, really, man, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it was sad, man. I went to Whataburger after the game. I was looking at the hamburger. I was like, man, and I'm like, oh, the stupid Spurs, the stupid Spurs. And I take another bite. Cabrones, desgraciados. Really, man, it was sad. It was very, very sad. Stupid Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> right, all pissed off, right? Okay, I don't want to talk about the Spurs no more because I'm feeling suicidal. I don't want to talk about the Spurs no more. Now, let's see what's going on out here. Check this out, crazy, crazy story. <laughs> New Jersey. A 59-year-old flower shop owner has been arrested by, you know, for allegedly stealing plants and flowers from cemeteries. <laughs> How crazy is this? You have your own flower store, right? And what flowers are you selling? You're selling flowers that you're stealing from the cemetery. Who's going to tell? <laughs> hey, man, the guy's in the casket. Hey, what the, why are you taking my flowers and say, those are my flowers, what the, you know I can't do nothing about it. Why are you taking my flowers and say, really, man? Who's going to rat the guy out? <laughs> He's in the cemetery stealing flowers. You know, no one's going to say nothing. They can't. Hey, man. <laughs> que cabrón. Who does stuff like this, man? Eh, having your own flower shop and stealing the flowers from a cemetery to sell them. And where are they going to? Back to the cemetery. Ching. Yeah, man. Anyway, <laughs> that's crazy stuff, man. That really, really is, man. That's no conscience whatsoever, really. <laughs> when you're stealing flowers from the cemetery to sell. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> um, last night when we got to the game, me and my daughter, they had a band called the Spasmatics performing outside. And I got to tell you, man, I love their music. I've seen them before. Don't get me wrong. I think they're awesome, but maybe it was just the mood that was in, but the spasmatics, they were jamming, man. They were tearing it up. It was a lot of fun. It really, really was. And what's crazy about it, my daughter, my youngest daughter, Angela, she how old is Mika? Mika, 22 years old. Mika, 22 years old. She goes, Dad, do you want a beer, Dad? I'll buy you a beer. And I go, okay, Mika, you can buy Dad a beer. So um, we got two beers, right? Right? And we went outside to the courtyard, you know, getting into the feel of the game and stuff. And mind you, not even like seven or eight minutes later, Mika tells me, Dad, you ready for another beer? And I go, what? She goes, are you ready for another? Mika, I just had like three sips. You ready for another beer? She goes, Mika, thirsty. <laughs> and I said, Mika, more than thirsty. Mika, alcoholic. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, it was great going to the game with my daughter, regardless of whatever. The Spurs lost. They sucked. But like I said, <laughs> it was great going to the game with my daughter. Really, man, we had a couple of cold beers. Just really, really cool. Good morning, shout out to Cynthia Gonzalez. Let me know, joining me from Houston, Texas, in the casa. Now, before anything else, before I forget, a big shout out. And I mean a big shout out going out to fellow DJ Abel Martinez, who made a $50 donation to Robert Evans Radio yesterday. Thank you so very much, amigo. Abel makes donations once a month. Y no falla, mi amigo. So, look, big shout out going out to fellow DJ Abel Martinez. And if ever you need a DJ for kind of a wedding, a debut, whatever the case may be, contact Abel Martinez through Facebook. And uh, worst comes to worst, you can't find him or whatever, contact me and I'll give you all this information where you can get a hold of Abel Martinez to perform at your next event, okay? Really, man, he'll take care of you. He's been in the DJ business a long, 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 long time. And that's the truth. Now! That being said, it is time for question of the day. You're probably going, Robert, what about the t-shirt, Robert? Robert, what about the t-shirt? Uh, t-shirt, mm -hmm. t-shirt number one. How about those lips, huh? How about those lips? Man, last time I saw a pair of lips like that, uh, they weren't up here. No, that's not funny. Don't go there, Robert. Okay, I won't go there. Um... My daughter, my daughter Angela, she's my grandbaby's mom, baby Mia, and 
she told me a really funny story when we, we first when I picked her up. She was getting ready. My daughter was getting ready for the game, right? And uh, <laughs> baby Mia has been wanting to go to a game, which I'm going to have to take her. But she's been wanting to go to a game. And my daughter's been promising her to take her to a game. That being said, my daughter didn't want to tell her anything, right? Because she didn't want to ruffle her feathers. So my daughter's getting ready, and my daughter tells baby Mia that she's going to go out for a while. Okay? Anyways, woohoo! Anyways, so, um, well, my daughter's getting ready. My daughter puts on her Spurs jersey, right? Well, baby Mia saw the Spurs jersey, and she goes, Mom, you're going to the Spurs game. Mom, don't lie to me, Mom. <laughs> and my daughter goes, she knew. She knew I was going to a Spurs game. Take me with you. She goes, me and Grandpa are going. Take me with you and Grandpa. She goes, we only got two tickets. I don't care. I want to go. So baby Mia made a big stink about it. So I need to take baby Mia to a game, my grandbaby. I love her with all my heart. Now, Cynthia Gonzalez Amina says, I want one, Robert. I want one of your shirts, Robert. I want one of these, Robert. You know what I want, Cynthia? I want to meet a girl with a pair of lips like that. Woohoo! Just like that. The guys are going, mira nomás. Hijo eso, mira que labios, mira nomás. Wow, eh? man, this is a pair of lips here. Man, I'm gonna, pet, I'm gonna pet these babies like a cat. There we go, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. That's my line that I use at the bars. Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> come, come, come drink another beer, kitty, kitty. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to my question of the day. There we go. Let's get to my question of the day. Now, question of the day. Yesterday, me and my daughter, right after the game, to kind of make us feel better, um, I told her, Mika, let's go buy Whataburger. I'm buying you dinner. Come on, let's go get some hamburgers. So, we went to Whataburger, okay? We went to Whataburger, and um, I got to tell you, man, Whataburger, they got a wide variety of choices in hamburguesas. Now, patty melt, I love them. I love just a regular burger, too. The regular cheeseburger kicks ass, but I got to tell you, man, that guacamole burger is pretty good, too. Now, you know, um, I, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cut off some people here, man. Let me tell you why. I get messages from Messenger from these people, these chain letters. Let's see how far this goes. Get past the free hug. Screw that, man. Quit sending me this stuff, Valentina. What's your problem? Oh, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Anyways, so my question of the day, simple, straight to the point. What is your favorite What a burger? burger to order? And what's your favorite what a burger? Burger! Hey, right, because they got a lot of them. They're all good. So, if you've been watching me right now, if you've been watching me, you've been live with me right now, aside from that, I want you to send me a message on my internet radio group page. Just say, Robert, I want the Stephanie Lynn t-shirt, and uh, I will definitely take it into a consideration to give you a Stephanie Lynn T-shirt with the big pair of lips. There we go. Oh, look at those lips right there. Man, 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 man. Okay, so look here. You're watching me right now. You're watching me. And if you want to win the Stephanie Lynn T-shirt, just send me a regular message on Robert Evers Internet Radio Group page and put, Robert, I want that Stephanie Lynn T-shirt. And I'll pick one of y'all. I'll, I'll be cool about it. I'll, I'll pick one of y'all. I don't know who I'm going to pick, but I'll pick one of y'all. Head on over to Double R Radio, Robert Evers Radio, Tejano, and much more. Este, uh, it is Tuesday morning. Head on over to my internet radio group page and answer me. Pregunta, por favor. What is your favorite? What a burger? Burger. T when we're talking Stephanie Lynn. Let's play her brand new single, Todo Mi Amor. Buenos dias, Double R Radio, Tuesday morning. Thanks for waking up with me.